What's up, Pop Tarters? It's Pop Top Man here again, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Let's Play. And today we're going to be building a maze beyond this building. As you can see, I made a huge building back here. Hasn't got a roof though, it hasn't. But before I began this video, I've been building this build, big building I have. Yeah, the building's about 41 blocks wide, it is. And about 30 blocks long. And this thing took me about an hour to build, and it is. And, um, and this building, by the way, is meant to be the maze, it is. And there's also a little bit, a little bit of something special as well, because, because I, this maze was inspired by a scene in one of my favourite horror films, it Chapter Two. Well, yeah, I know, I know that I'm aware there's been some complaints about the film, especially with some of the jump scares and um, um, divisives between the between the It 2017 film and Chapter Two. So it's been quite divided, but I personally think that It Chapter 2 is better than the first film. In a way, that is. It's got a lot more jokes and a lot more um, jump scares as well. Even though some of them doesn't make any sense. Like right here, for example. Yeah, I just totally didn't get that. <laughs> nah, I didn't. Anyways, I know all that. In this, in this in this maze, it's gonna be ins was indeed inspired by the scene by the scene in H Chapter Two when Ben is trying to find the bo little boy Dean. I mean, sorry for spoilers for, I mean, spoilers for H Chapter Two. But in the film, Bill Denver goes into a fun house at the fun fair in Derry, Maine, and he's trying to save this kid from Pennywise, and and he's trying to save him through these big hole, the big 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 maze of mirrors and glass and that. So, it's meant to be something like that, but with stuff from Stephen King novels. I am indeed a Stephen King fan. I haven't seen, I haven't read any of his books yet, but I'd love to read one of his books one day, though. I haven't seen much of film adaptations of it. I saw about four. The 2017 it film, It Chapter 2, and the other two I've seen were The Shining and its 2019 sequel, Doctor Sleep. Which, by the way, I prefer Doctor Sleep over The Shining. I both like those films, but I thought The Shining was had some issues. It did, especially with climax. I didn't like the climax of. I did not really like the climax of The Shining because I thought it was a bit anticlimactic because because it ends in a way that's scary. Yes, but it felt anticlimactic to me. It did. And yes, I know I'm gonna get complaints by a lot of you because The Shining is a classic, a horror classic. And it's considered to be one of the best horror films of all time, it is. And yes, I do accept why it's considered to be one of the best horror films of all time. I totally understand that. Because it's based on the Stephen King novel, by the way. And it's directed by one of the most influential filmmakers that ever lived. Stanley Kubrick. Or Kubrick. I heard both. I had it both. I heard it both ways. But I still prefer... I prefer Doc Sleep over The Shining. Because I thought... The, the, I thought Doctor Sleep had like a a better story and a darker tone and a lot more scares than that. So I thought it was a bit more of an improvement over The Shining. Just to say that. Anyways, enough of that. On with the show. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a maze out of glass panes I am. And you might be wondering why I'm making a big maze even though I got that one over there. Well, I did like this maze, but I thought... Yeah, I did like building this maze, yes. But I thought it was a bit too boring and a bit small for, for a maze. Yeah, I mean a maze is meant to be like a big, big, like, hallways of uh, dead ends in there. And that's what I'm trying to do here. So, this maze is ten times bigger. This is, I mean, that's like, almost triple the, triple the length of, yeah, this is like triple the length of the, that maze over there. So let's get started. So, so I was I was thinking of having a hallway, but that only fits one person through, so only one person can go at a time. So, and that is um meant to be the part of the game that is. Yeah, like in the doing it wrong here. 
Oh, what a waste. But don't worry, I got a lot of stuff. Like, oh my gosh, I got look, glass here, man. I've got so much glass here today. I've got lots and lots of glass here, I do. And also, to make it even more interesting, this I'm gonna add some red coloring to it. I've got some uh, red colored paints back at the house, I do. And I'm thinking I'm putting some of it in here to reference blood, because, again, spoilers for Itch Up to Two, but the kid that Bill Denver was trying to save, he died, unfortunately. Pennywise just like broke the glass. He's like, yeah, what happened was, is that the kid was trapped between two glasses. Was one with Bill Denbro and on one side, and P and Benny Pennywise on the other. And Pennywise was smashing the glass with his head like unnaturally. Pretty scary, right? Yeah, he was smashing the glass on the glass until he finally broke, and he bit, and he went in and bit him off screen. Off screen, and you see a blood splat. So, I thought in this maze, I thought not only add in blood as a detail, but I also add in Pennywise in several ways. Well, not entirely as um as a person or whatever. It's not like he's going to spawn in monsters or whatever, like he does in the movie. What I'm basically going to do is I'm going to have like uh, have. Um, like a pumpkin head or whatever, um, hiding in the um, maze, in several places that is, and um, it's gonna be hidden behind uh, a couple of persons using some technology magic. We'll make this all happen, make it scary, even more scary. Wait, what? That was weird. <laughs> Never mind. It may look like it may look like I'm just randomly putting some glass here, but I'm not. I'm just doing this for uh, for content. I am like this is meant to be like a maze. It's meant to be a maze. It is. Yep, it's meant to be a bloody maze. Do 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 do. Uh, I missed a bit. Wasted a bit. No mind. We got. Uh, never mind about that. I got. I got loads of paint. I got like loads of glass panes in here. But yeah, I got like loads of it in here. So no need to worry. And also, uh, and also, um, I, in the game, in this maze, in in this maze, I've also added a little Easter egg in the game, which is a little prize you can find. But I'm not going to tell you where I'm going to put it though, it's meant to be a secret until like, when I completed this, so, yeah. That's really odd, because I'm putting, cause I'm putting this glass down with my head towards like that, and it puts the glass down, but it takes it away, I mean that's kind of a rip off, right? I'm just gonna change in change in daytime. I am. Yeah, it may seem a bit boring this episode. And I do apologize for that. Yeah, this. Yeah, this might seem a little bit boring. I do apologize for any disturbance caused, but. It's meant to be the beginning, and I will do continue on this thing. I will in the future. Yeah. So when we go to the next few episodes, I'll do some more. I'll do the um, jump scares of Pennywise. Well, I was thinking having one like over there at the corner. I was possibly maybe. I mean, my God, I got like loads of glass, like loads and loads of it. I don't know why I keep saying that though. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying it for fun. <laughs> I'm just saying it for fun. I am. Yeah, there's one thing I'm bothering. It's bothering at the moment because you don't know why it's bothering me because it's kind of like wasting my glasses. I mean, I cook over like I cooked like I don't know about ten stacks, about ten stacks of glass paint, and it's sort of wasted it a bit. 
Basically, I'm trying to put it down with my head leaning towards it, and it sort of like takes away. I mean, what? That's just a ripoff, mate. You see that? You see what I mean? You see what I mean, guys? Don't know how that's a thing. Not sure that's uh, due to due to glitch or bad programming, but never mind. So, so I could look from above. Oh, that looks complete. Yeah. Okay, I gotta do one more thing before I end this video. Add in some blood splats. Scary shit, right? Scary shit, scary shit. I believe it's scary. I know it's scary, but it's meant to be something. Oh, I hear cat. Ah, oh, damn, it's morning. How you doing there, uh, uh, beauty? Doing all right? Oh, okay. Oh, that looks good. That looks really, really good. So put a blip there. Basically put it everywhere where you can. Yeah, it's bits of bits of blood. And fun fact, I went to I went to my swimming local swimming pool near Rochford, and I've actually went into the pool. One, it was around Halloween it was, and the pool was actually red, it was, the water was red. And I think it was meant to resemble blood it was. Yeah, it was supposed to be resemble blood, because it was around Halloween time it was. So, I thought it was a great detail it was. Just for I tell you that. Yeah. It's not really the best detail, but it's the best I can do. I mean, you can't really make blood splatters in Minecraft. And again, you can't really make things go realistic in Minecraft. Well, that's not what I, well, that's not what I have, but I bet other YouTubers have that too. But I bet any other YouTubers or, and other people have that. But I don't for it, don't at all, I don't. Don't know what I have, but I might check it one day. Oh, sounds a bit spooky, right? Right? Just so many bits of blood everywhere. Jesus Christ. That detail. So much blood. Ooh, spooky. I mean, wow. I just can't believe the film. Both. I mean, I've seen like two horror films. Like, um, yeah, two horror films last year. Uh, it's just doing Doctor Sleep, and they were both rated 15 in the UK. They were. And it had a ton, like, a, and like they had a ton of jump scares. And like I'm talking dozens and dozens of jump scares. Even some of them didn't make any sense. I mean, wow. Yeah, I didn't expect a 15 rated film would have that many jump scares in one movie. I mean, Jesus. It's getting. It might get close to an 18 rating, right? I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure it's me, but I think the movie industry has gone a bit too far. Yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's due to critic changes or the film industry changes. I'm just, I don't know what's going on here. Oh yeah, this is a proper blood splat. Yeah. Splat! Scary. Okay. Mm. 
Not that. Get out of that. Ooh, we're getting quite a bit of blood that we have there. I got like four. I got like four stacks of blood. Not blood. Um, there. Four stacks of red stained glass panes I have. I'm having like even. I even use like two stacks here. I've only really used like one stack already. Jeez. Ooh. Doo -doo. What the hell? What are you doing there? Get out of there. Oh, Paul. Bloody. Bloody, bloody. And now this is looking very spooky. Well, let's make this a blood splat as well. Ooh. Scary. I mean, um, this, well, this is not really meant to be for, like, um, kids, this thing. Like, you see, Stephen King novels are not really meant to be for children. They're meant to be scary. They're meant to be like adultish, like 15 rated. Yeah. Hmm. I think that's it. Uh, let's add a bit more. Just a bit more, if I can. Bit there. Bit there. Nope, we got it. I'm trying to make it as much as detailed as possible, I know. Um, I think that might be a bit too much blood now. Yeah, I think it's enough now. Okay, it's gone to night time, so... How about get to sleep quickly if I can? It's daytime still. Then that sucks. It's daytime still. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Okay, let's have a look at that maze again for my bird's eye view. Ugh. Excuse me. Oh yes, that looks good. That looks amazing. And there's two like like two blood splats, like one there and the other there. And in this room, I'm gonna have three questions, like a quiz. I'm gonna have three questions relating to Stephen King or his novels. Is it either his personal life or his novels? I haven't figured out what questions yet though, but I'll get that in the next episode. I'll get to that in the next episode. So anyways, we're in the video right here. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Minecraft. Let's play. Let pfft, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you with some Five Nights at Freddy's on the Xbox One tomorrow. Bye-bye. And oh, look, it's sunny again. Bye-bye.